Awesome. Mike's Daily Podcast. FF episode 1180. 80. The 80s. I've got my spandex on, my spandau ballet, my jean jacket that's acid wash. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling like I'm ready for this show today. I actually have hair because it's the 80s and I had hair back then. It's awesome on my head. And today, it's Mike Matthews. Mike's Daily Podcast. Broadcasting from Cafe Anyway, located somewhere in Podcastro Valley. Today, we hear from Mike's Daily Podcast. Madam Ruda Vega, Valentino, and Bison Bentley for sure. They're gonna come in here and throw out some words. And then we'll talk to Haley and bring you the Daily Haley. We haven't done that in a long time. And I might tell you something from the whiny white men wine list. Mike's Daily Podcast. Yes, there's a list of things that whiny white men are complaining about today. And I have a list of it for you. Mike's That I know Daily you'd be interested to hear. Podcast. This is the stuff that yeah. all the whiny white men on conservative talk radio are going to talk about. For example... For example, the Charlotte erupts again. Hillary is fueling the fire. That's why there's a big riot in Charlotte is because of Hillary. That's that's the first thing on the list. And in this long paragraph, blah, 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 blah. And I'm not even reading it in my mind. I'm just looking at it going, hey, tight race as the debate approaches, according to polls. Reuter, Reuters has Trump up two by two nationally. Well, it's neck and I remember when Mitt Romney was practically ahead of Obama four years ago. Massachusetts Supreme Court black males justified in running from police because of what they called the indignity of being racially profiled. That's another thing on the list that they're complaining about today. Obama policy is keeping the economy down. High school band does anthem on knees before a uh, oh before a basketball game, and then the rest of this I can't read. Oh, gonorrhea developing resistance to cure. How are they blaming the Democrats for this? The increased resistance serves as an early warning sign. The CDC explained. There, this is what I talked about yesterday. Now, I, well, it doesn't say specifically how it's the Democrats' fault, but there you go. From the whiny white men wine list. And it, look who just walked in. Hello, I come ask you to my double big And I love it when you talk about Ganaria. Yeah. Didn't mean to bring that up. You know, not only is it a horrible disease, it's a horrible name, isn't it? It just scares the crap out of me when I see just the way it's spelt and everything. The two R's really do it, because you get two R's in words like terror, Halloween. Wait, there's not two R's. There's two L's in Halloween and two E's. And there's a W, which is ba- basically two U's, right? Smacked right next to each other. I love the alphabet. Look who else just walked in. Hello there, Mike. This is Valentino, the parking attendant. And this is Bison Bentley. Do you know that? Mike, we think that Chris Christie should be president and that gonorrhea is caused by Hillary Clinton. Day. Yeah, it's all our fault. Do you know that? You guys, this blame game thing, I guess it doesn't end. I guess if you want a job in conservative talk radio, you got to be good at blaming. That's all it is. No! The blame game. I would like to also tell you about the new iPhone 7. You know, I like to bash the people that are all waiting in line and and having heart palpitations over the new iPhone 7. Interesting little factoid about it. It costs $37 more to make an iPhone 7, yet the price has not gone up. How is Apple doing that? That's my question. Okay, now we're going to bring you the wonderful segment. We haven't done this in a long time. It's called The Daily Haley. I would love to tell you Haley is someone I work with. And a year ago, as I look at my Facebook memories, apparently 
Haley was on every show. Like, he it literally was daily a year ago. But we don't work... Well, we work during the same time, but it's, we're, it's a lot busier than we used to be. So we just haven't had time. But So... Let's bring on the Daily Haley. By the way, you can hear past Daily Haley's and catch the podcast picture. Oh, speaking of today's podcast picture. And here's today's podcast picture. In in honor of the first day of fall. Yay, the first day of fall. Leaves are falling, finally. The cha- the, you really could feel it this week. The temperature started to dip. We had a really hot weekend, and now it's starting to dip a little bit. And so nice. So you feel that? You get to pull out your sweater. Get a little... Pull out your sweater. Get get them off, all the summer dust off of them. Haley was wearing a sweater as we were discussing things on the Daily Haley. So you can catch past Daily Haley's and also uh, the podcast picture. And you can help the show out. There's a link to the Amazon link to the Amazon Rainforest. Actually, to the Amazon website. The the Bezos guy, right? He runs that. So you click on that and buy whatever it is you're going to buy on Amazon, and that helps us out. It doesn't doesn't change the way you shop. So remember that. Before you go to Amazon, go through mikesdailypodcast.com. There, it's, it's a rhyme, so it'll stay in your mind. Then there's also the PayPal. If you'd like to donate, you'll get a special greeting from all the Cafe Anyway characters. And finally, there are the past interviews that I have done with a myriad of bands and artists. I don't do it so much anymore. There used to be a time where I would hear a band and I'd go, oh, I'll give them a call. I'll send them an email. I'll message them on Facebook and see if they want to do an interview. And I did that a lot. And I would get maybe 2% of the time I would get a response back. And then if I got a response back, then they were often very flaky. So I don't know. I've decided, I guess, in the in the grand scheme of things, I probably don't have the patience to try and track down interviews with indie bands. But if you're in an, in, in, an, in an indie band and you would like to be on the show, you are, of course, very welcome. Just want you to know. And you can email me, mikesdailypodcast at gmail.com is my email. And speaking of emails... Oh, my God! Email for me now at your calm at not so calm mess. You can always send me an email and you can always comment on the Facebook, the Twitter, the Tumblr, the Instagram. All those links are there at Mike's Daily Podcast.com. And now the Daily Haley. The Daily Haley. The almost Daily Haley. We're sneaking up on Haley. They're about to ask Haley a question. Haley, how are you today? <coughs> Haley, what's wrong? Me. <coughs> you've 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 turned into some strange cat that speaks in monosyllables. Monosyllables is my favorite word. Oh. My, I was I was in monosyllables. That's a it's that's that one musical about the uh, the uprising in France, right? Les Miserables. Oh, oh, Les Miserables, not monosyllables. Now, you're a famous performer of stage and screen. What is your secret? How do you get up on stage and not get freaked out by all those people staring at you? I don't do it anymore. When you used to do it as a young child actor, how did you do it without getting freaked out? So the secret is the stage is elevated compared to the people. So you can just imagine that you can kick them in the face really easily. Really? That's what you, you had these violent thoughts. Where did this come from? Did you have a violent childhood? No, I just got up there and did it. (laughs) So why were you so scared up there on the stage? And I'm just going to be the worst interviewer in the world and like not listen to your answers. Okay, go ahead. So what is it about me that's so great? Zebras are really um, the next conservation effort I think we need to push towards because they're out there and probably some of them are dying. So like, what the hell? We should really focus on making sure we have zebras because let me tell you, in like The Lion King or like other TV shows that had like lions or other... uh, 
uh, safari animals when they had that animated zebra flank that looked like the most delicious thing ever. Oh yeah, that that looks so delicious. I could get one of those right now, maybe in sandwich form. Also, the Lion King made bugs look good, so. Bugs are good. You know, I took a an animal linguistics class at UCSB. That was the last test I took before I graduated. Let me the think about it. The hell is an animal linguistics class? That's like how animals communicate because it's part of my communications major. And apparently the, the teacher goes, yes, I used to eat termites when I lived down in South America, and they're quite delicious. They're actually like butter. Did you ever, were you able? A lot of cholesterol in them. Did you ever uh, interview any animals? Haley, let me just say, if I could talk to the animals, just imagine it, talking with a zebra or gazelle. <laughs> so you can probably guess where I know that song from. You know it from the wonderful musical Les Miserables. <laughs> sure. No, Dr. Doolittle. No. Uh, no? Why? The Muppet Show. That's right. You know it from The Muppet Show. Did they sing that on The Muppet Show? Yes. Uh, Roger Moore was on The Muppet Show. I believe it was Roger Moore. It was one of the Bonds. And uh, he. they wanted to have an entirely uh, Bond-themed episode, but Roger Moore just wanted to perform nice, anima- nice uh, uh, songs with woodland creatures. Oh! So they had already hired the spot. Eyes for the big number, and so he was singing "Talk to the Animals" while spies were assaulting him, and he was beating them back. I have got. To, I, this sounds very familiar. I have to watch this again. I love the the Muppet Show. Do you know what I found on? It's probably on YouTube, right? The Muppet Show. Probably a lot of them are. Why are we talking so loudly? Oh, because we're in a studio right now. I want my voice to get past this muff. <laughs> we have a muff. This is a, a pop guard. That's why I'm hitting the microphone. Uh, you know, Jennifer Lopez looks better in black and white. Hey, so this is... There was a TV on nearby as well. There, it's kind of rude. It's it is. Of- I look better in black and white. Hey, it was Roger Moore. I was right. Oh, I've got to watch that one. Hey, the Ruddles. Did you ever hear the Ruddles? It was a spoof on the Beatles. And George Harrison actually showed up in it. I feel like I have. Eric Idle of Monty Python was in it. So he- Yes, yes, I do know the Ruttles. And it came from a TV show called the Rutland Weekend Network 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 I, Show. I never knew that. That's all on YouTube, too. You can watch that. And I was talking about on my podcast, the guy in Willy Wonka who says, And do you know why when you mix water and you get an explosion? Of course you don't, because you're a student. If you knew it, it'd be rude. Uh, that guy was on that show with Eric Idle. Interesting. His name is David Blatley. Rest in peace, David Blatley. He had a hole in his heart. Hey, you know what? At least I took a guess that he was dead. <laughs> I think I told you this story before at another time space continuum. Not quite. Well, what else would you like to tell us about? Hey, didn't you? You had a fun experience up in Marin County over the weekend. Tell us all about that. I went and visited my grandparents. He's speaking to us through his turtleneck, ladies and gentlemen. It was a fun experience. We picked apples. Oh, did you bring some home? Yes. How are they? Are they tasty? They are. They're very tasty. I love California. We can grow freaking anything. Uh, yes, we can. That's a that's a good motto for an election campaign. We should use that for something. Anyway, we, we can grow anything but our jobs and uh, wages. Do you know what I I haven't gotten from you in a while? Is those little what do you call them from Seven Eleven? Oh, the mini tacos. Yeah, those are delicious. Yeah, I've been trying to save money. Oh, okay. Even if they're two bucks for ten dollars of them, hear that? Two dollars for ten tiny little tacos, and they're good. Oh, thanks for exposing me to that. Well, I just wanted to thank you for being on Mike's Daily Podcast. And any final comments, suggestions, or uh... please unchain me from this microphone. Okay. No, you have to do it yourself because you're a Houdini. Who don't know what now? 
Thank you, Haley. As we go outside a cafe anyway, we bring you Mike's Daily Podcast somewhere in Podcaster Valley. The Nevada governor is calling a special session to consider a plan on bringing the Raiders to Vegas. <gasps> oh, my gosh. Oh. I mean, I'm not a huge fan of sports, but I do know that Oakland gets a lot of its identity from the Raiders for sure. California Supreme Court has voted to review a libel case over a, over negative Yelp reviews. Meeting in closed sessions, the California Supreme Court accepted Yelp's appeal of decision, ordering it to strip the internet of comments posted about a San Francisco law firm. Yelp had appealed a 2013 libel lawsuit. And Rome and its beautiful mayor, Virginia Raggi, she has declined to back Rome's bid for the 2024 Summer Games, saying it's, it is irresponsible to say yes to this candidature. She's lovely. Candidature. Wow. Lindsay Cohen is lovely, too. She's a... Wow, I would love to interview her. She is sort of this up-and-coming kind of alternative artist. She kind of has this 90s girl band sound kind of reminds me of Poe or uh, Heather Nova if you know those artists from the 90s so she and she's lovely she's probably in her 20s so check her out alright that's the end of the show thank you so much I hope you had a fun time enjoy the leaves falling down and enjoy your wonderful Thursday ah just feel that wonderful wind blowing down your neck Where's my wind sound effect? So much better. It's all Hillary's fault. Mike's Daily Podcast is written and produced and performed by Mike Matthews. His podcast is super easy to find. Download or listen to his show and read his blog at mikesdailypodcast.com. Email Mike now at mikesdailypodcast at gmail.com. See you tomorrow. Bye.